Hey guys, Token Vaping. Um, so today's juice review is uh, another final flavor in a in the line that I had the privilege of being able to do. As you all know, I'm trying to shorten the amount of time it takes for me to do um, each video by devoting a video per flavor. However, it does tend to take a little bit longer to get through um, the various flavors that I'm able to acquire or purchase through for different companies. So as long as you're willing to bear with me, which most of you have, and you take the time to watch the videos, which I am very appreciative of, we'll get through this and I'll try to do this as consistently and as rapidly as I can. So I appreciate that. And if you have not yet, that red button down there, the subscribe button, it's a huge honor if you go ahead and click that. If not, just enjoy the video as it is. So today's uh, flavor that I'm doing is from Misunderstood Vapors. Um, that's their logo right here and this is the third in a three flavor line so you can go to the website it's misunderstoodvapors.com they are on Facebook they are on Instagram as well I'm a big fan of their logos just because it has the Japanese style Oni, Oni Wind God masks um, all three uh, labels are a, a slight bit different um, I do have a tattoo of one myself, so I am a huge fan of this style of art as well. But as you can see with the little swirlies in the back, it definitely makes this pop up, and that is something that is a little different. You don't see that on many uh, flavor lines. So it's something unique. It's something uh, stylish, artistic, um, you know, sitting on a shelf, you know, and you walk into a shop, you see that. It definitely is going to catch your eye, especially if you're a fan of the artwork. So it's going to have their logo here, which is basically the, the label here. It's going to say the name. Of the company misunderstood vapors or just misunderstood um, nicotine right here is three and this is a flavor it's a cool mint uh, warning and ingredient labels on the back as well as their website and their Instagram right here ingredients and it is safety sealed so it is a first vape first review um, they are based out of New York City and they do basically have four nicotine levels a zero three six and twelve um, you know I don't know if it's because of all the regulations going in, because of um, the different uh, the different changes that are going on, but hypothetically, you know, the winds of change are coming through, and a lot of companies are starting to um, lessen the amount of nicotine options that they have, or change the sizing of their their bottle offerings. And for me personally, I think it is a good thing. Um, honestly, as as many nicotine options as there are. People are always going to go for the higher because they want stronger, this and that, and everything else. And me personally, I mean, I am a reform smoker. I did start high myself because there wasn't a lot of knowledge at the time when I started, and people didn't understand um, the different nuances that there is to vaping. Honestly, nobody needs nicotine that high. Now, that's not to say I'm not trying to tell anybody how they should be vaping, but realistically wise, nobody really needs that high of a level. Um, it should be more about the enjoyment of the vape, the enjoyment of the flavor, um, things like that. So that's just my personal opinion as it is with um, how the flavors are and how the vaping is and what I get out of this. It's just my opinion. I'm in no way, shape or form am I trying to tell anybody how they should take to this or how they should be with this. Um, but they do offer the four levels and it is an 80-20 mix so it's really good on clouds um, the other two flavors are really smooth you know there wasn't a whole lot of throw hit if any at all especially on a first vape so it's definitely one to check out now I saved this flavor purposely for last because it is a cool mint and it is basically supposed to be um, cool mint blended with menthol it's not really a common uh, mixture that you see a lot you'll either see the menthol in a flavor or the mint in a flavor um, but this one here they basically combine the two to basically have a cool light mint with a refreshing blast of menthol. Honestly, I am not a fan of either flavor. I have tried them in multiple other flavors. I've never been a fan of menthol, and mint has always just been way too much for me in a vape, so that is why I saved this for last. So I will tell you right now, flavor profile, I'm not a fan of it, going by what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and vape it let you know what it what it vapes like and what it comes off as so if you are a fan of menthol or mint or you're looking for something a little different that has that in it this most definitely is one to definitely check out um, but we will go from that as always I have a fresh wick that I did for the video and if you've been watching my videos at all you'll know that my co my cotton of choice is Texas Tough Cotton um, I just really enjoy the way that it works um, it's really durable it's really easy to work with it holds flavor really well um, unless you go and change flavors a lot on on a wick then it's 
you know, with any cotton, it's not going to hold up very well. But the main thing that I like about it is on a first vape, you don't get a really strong cottony taste, and that impressed me about it. So that's why I, I stick to this as my cotton of choice. On Instagram, it's Texas Tough Cotton if you are interested. So we're going to go ahead and bust this open. Now, me normally, I don't care if I see something like this because it just means that they used a little bit more on here or it didn't get heated because you can tell by how hard that is that it didn't, that they heated it basically and it just hardened in that position, didn't fold over. But for those of you that are overly cautious or don't, don't trust things like that you know just don't open it or don't use it if for whatever reason any security option that you see and there's something wrong with it just contact where you got it from contact who makes it let them know so that they can go ahead and take steps to you know get you a bottle in its proper form because no matter what it's about your health and safety so if you don't feel comfortable with it don't use it so we can go ahead and bust this open now Whew. yep that's mint definitely definitely a very minty a minty smell for me honestly it almost has a like a peppermint or spearmint type uh, odor to it um, but it is it is strong now it's not like a Vicks clear your no strong but it definitely is mint I mean there is no mistaking it whatsoever so the other thing that you have to be careful of is if you are a fan of this flavor then you would already know but if not this is one of those flavors that unless you plan on making this the only flavor that you use on your cotton, be prepared to change it before you try another flavor. Mint and menthol basically are the type of flavors that will overtake your cotton. And just in my experience, I have yet to find one that doesn't do it. Um, it will pretty much coat your cotton and your coils that no matter what you put on afterwards, that's all you're going to taste is the menthol or mint from whatever flavor you're using that has it in it so just an FYI and heads up for that so I'm gonna go ahead and do quick juicing make sure I have juice in here I don't want to have any dry burn go ahead and do just a quick burn off get the juice flowing through the coil like so get a little bit more on the coil And we are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cap this up. And as always, as you all know, for my views, I vape at 75 watts. So this is Cool Mint from Misunderstood Vapors. Yep. Wow. Okay, I'm good. I apologize for that. It is... <sighs> now, the flavor itself, I'm going to say, is not super strong. I will say that. It, it's more, it has a very mint, um, a mint taste, but it is not overpowering to where it feels like you just took a, a, a mint leaf and stuck it on your tongue. However, it's the cooling effect of it that is a huge rush to your mouth and to your throat. Um, if you do vape menthols or, or mint flavors like that, then you'll know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. But if you've ever had like a peppermint candy or something like that, and you basically, right after it's gone and you take that like that, that that rush of, of air that you get into your mouth and your lungs, that cooling effect, it's, I, for me, it is really, really strong. Um, so it definitely has that cooling, refreshing mint, menthol aspect feel to it. Like I said, for me, I am not a fan of this flavor. It is way too much for me. If you like that flavor, though, if you are a menthol vapor, if you are a, a, a mint fan, um, absolutely most definitely 100 percent you will you will fall in love with this flavor it is definitely all of that um i will say the flavor is mild enough that it's not overpowering so if you're looking for something that has like a flavor profile or flavor boost to it um this isn't something that has like fruit or or candy with mint it's literally just mint with a hit of menthol um so if you're looking for something like that, absolutely give this a shot. If you are menthol or mint vapor, definitely add this into your rotation for that blast every time that you want one. But it, it most definitely is what it says it is.
Yep. Um, I did I did enjoy the other two flavors though. Their pink lemonade and their 24-7, which was exotic tropical fruits. That one would probably be my number one out of the three, but the other two were were really good as well. For what the flavor is on this one, this this does work, but out of the three, this is one I probably would not choose. However, regardless of anything else, Misunderstood Vapors, thank you guys so much. This was a huge honor. I love your labels. Um, your flavors are on point. They are what they they say they are. Um, it was just a huge opportunity and privilege, and thank you guys so much. Definitely check them out, misunderstoodvapors.com, Instagram, and Facebook. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Um, anything that I can do to help further enhance your vaping, doesn't matter what it is, but however I can help you so that you can enjoy vaping more is absolutely the main reason why I do what I do, and just reach out to me. Let me know what I can help out with. If there's a particular video you're wanting to see, if there's a particular uh, flavor you're interested in, a uh, device that you're interested in, anything that I can do to help you, I will do. Just let me know. I will get back to you. Until next time, guys, as always, vape on, vape strong, and have a good night.